this is Nessa. Welcome to Infinitely Zero's channel. Um, today is January 10, 2024. Um, just wanted to stop by and say a quick hello and um, go over uh, some information that I think might be useful to some folks. Um, first, I wanted to do a quick shout out and thank you um, to Michi. Thanks for the mention on your channel. Um, please go check out her channel, and if you like it, click like and subscribe. It's Michi's Crochet Hook Nook. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I've seen that a few uh, content creators recently have either started up knitting, learning how to knit, or have mentioned in their videos that they want to learn how to knit this year. Um, I know Juan the Yarn Addict has mentioned and has shown some of his progress in knitting. And I know Mama G Gear mentioned uh, in a few of her videos that she wants to learn how to knit this year as well as um, Rusty. So I thought I would mention um, a book that I um, was given in the Buy Nothing groups. So if some of you haven't heard, um, there's these different groups where uh, you can sign up on Facebook that are local to your area and individuals post items that they no longer want or need. Um, and you can just uh, say that sure you'll go pick it up and pick it up for free There's a website that gives links to the different locations and um, and then you can find them online and um, on your on your Facebook and uh, you know like um, Apply to uh, join the group Anyway, so I got a few books last year knitting books as well as weaving books and some crochet books and I gave a few out to a to friends I still have a few more um one of the ones that um I was given was uh, a teach yourself visually knitting book so actually I learned how to knit uh, about 20 some years ago when I was uh, in college and yes <laughs> I am that old and um and I no longer knit because it hurts my hands to hold the needles I have arthritis in my hands um, the reason I can still crochet is due to a medication that I'm on and also using ergonomic hooks. Um, so I hope uh, later on, um, later date, I'll maybe do a video concerning a review on different ergonomic hooks that I've had experience with and my experiences with them and which ones I like more. Anyways, back to this book. Uh, so I know folks learn in different ways and um, some are more visual than others. But I did think that this was a really cool reference book and really thorough. It's uh, called Teach Yourself Knitting. Um, nice and big book. They have two different editions. Uh, this is the second edition. It's written by Sharon Turner. Um, and it has a good amount of step-by-step -step instructions. The new price for it is $24.99. This can definitely be found used. Um, I recommend you search for it um, for a cool good used copy um, just make sure you get the right one um, this is the ISBN number for the second edition um, that's not really focusing anyways I'll read the number ISBN 9780470528 Three two dash seven, and um, the year that it was published, it's a copyright of twenty ten. So make sure you see that when you're looking for the used copy. And um, what I really like is that it has a lot of pictures um, that explain and break down things, like for example, how to, how to bind off. And it just goes into like a lot of visual detail with you know word instructions as well um it has a really good table of contents and it also has an index it goes into some um it even has some patterns in the back it goes um it goes through some more advanced level techniques um so you get an idea it um It has, it's also color-coded, the sections are color-coded, so that's some of the table of contents. 
Um, so for example, chapter one is intro to knitting, chapter two is basic techniques, and they have basic stitch patterns, shaping, uh, correcting mistakes, learning to read written instructions, like knowing how to use gauge, reading how to read knitting patterns, knitting terms, knitting in the round, bobbles, cables, texture stitches, open work, color knitting, fair isle knitting, and things like that, inter intarsia, finishing details like buttonholes, zipper, how to sew on zippers, um, how to make pockets, hems, weaving in ends, grafting, how to sew on the seams, and it's actually different to uh, graft and to sew seams for knitting than it is for crochet, um, especially if you want it seamless. They have different um, decorative details and some projects at the end, like how to make socks and mittens and headbands and a sweater and things like that. Um, so I highly recommend the book. Um, I haven't looked recently to see how much it goes for use, but I think you can probably um, look and see and find a much much more affordable copy um, used. Um, they do have this series for crochet and for sewing. I highly recommend the crochet one as well. Um, it has some more advanced techniques in there too, and they also have a sewing one, which is also pretty thorough. Um, the sewing one is by Debbie Colgrove. And the uh, crochet edition is by Cecily Kime and Kim P. Worker. And this is also the second edition. And the ISBN number for that is 9780470879979 um, with And this is a used copy that I picked up. I think it was either eBay or Thrift Books. And this has also a 2011 edition. It even goes into Tunisian crochet. It goes into um, more advanced techniques like inter in intarsia, edgings, um, blocks and moti motifs, making fringes, seaming things together, lover's knot, um, trellises, um, again, it's also very thorough like the knitting one and it has patterns at the end it also this book also goes into how to read patterns what crochet abbreviations are it has a breakdown explaining all of that and for example like how to do a single crochet it just has really nice uh color photos um also i wanted to mention crochet crowd uh, through um Mikey in the crochet crowd, he has a video that goes over how to read crochet patterns. And um, Yarnspirations has a new series on how to learn how to knit and crochet. And they have their patterns written differently, more in plain English, with hyperlinks to video tutorials, and with very, very easy, basic um, patterns to try out. Um, for beginners. Um, so those are definitely resources you may want to look into. And a quick tip of what I do when I'm looking for some of these items, either a good book, um, you know, one of the books, a used book, or if I'm looking for hooks, or if I'm looking for yarn, or other items, I'll do a Google search in the Google search bar. I'll type in the name of the item, I'll click search, and then under there, there's a tab where you can click shopping and it'll actually list out the item with where it's being sold, all the different locations and all the different prices. Um, and that's how I find the best deals. Um, so I would highly suggest and recommend that you try that out. And just when you're doing that, just be mindful, um, you know, make sure that it's sending you to a site that's actually a legitimate site as well as, um, making sure that you check the shipping costs because sometimes uh, certain items will look like they're cheaper, but then there's an extra five or $10 extra shipping costs. So that'll always depend who's selling it and things like that. You know, if it's like on eBay or on thrift books or Abbey books or a lot of the different other used booksellers. Um, so I hope this helps. 
and I'll probably tag uh, some of the folks that I mentioned on the video just in case um, you guys are interested in looking at these books um, and I hope it was helpful so have a good night thanks bye